What's up YouTube, Kyle 1272 here, back with another video. Alright, today's upgrade that I'm about to start the install on is... As you can see, I went with the RS5 Gray with the chrome trim grill. And as you see, my stock S5 grills, uh, they don't match, bro. One like that. So, guess what came in today? Guess what I'm about to jump right on? The RS5 grill for the S5. And not only that, I'm also going to install my LED fog lights because as everybody know, the uh, S5 come with the LEDs up top, but they have the halogen bulb down at the bottom and that yellow look just look crappy compared to all the uh, um, HIDs they have. So today's install will be my RS5 grills that came in. Now my plan, <clears throat> I'm not going to leave them black. I'm not going to leave them black. I'm about to head up here to AutoZone real quick, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to come as close as possible to the gray. See that gray? That's my grill, gray with the chrome. And the, my plan is to leave this ring chrome, but do the whole grill gray so it can match this RS5 grill. Because the theme of the car is the iron gray and black. So, you know, we got the gray bottom. I have my gray wheels, and they come with the gray trim. Now, I've been waiting for a long time for my rear diffuser, carbon fiber. It's still on order. I got in contact with them, because as everybody know, by being a 2012, they don't make the rear diffuser no more, and if you um, do find one, it's gonna be kinda expensive. So the one I ordered, <clears throat> they said they made it, but the, it didn't pass quality control, so they redoing a new one, and they said it's supposed to be shipped out August the 13th. So I'll be waiting on that, and when that come in, that'll go on. But as of right now, like I said, the install of the RS5 grills, I'm about to head up here. I might not install them today, I might just put them in just to show you how they look, which I'm quite sure you guys already know how they, you know, what they look like. But after that, but for sure, the LED lights are going in, I'm going to install those, and after I install them, I'm going to uh, paint them the gray. And then I, I was on YouTube, and I was trying to figure out how to take these grills out, right? And I saw a lot of people going underneath the bottom just to change the bulb out, right? Now, so I kept looking, kept watching the videos, and then I come across this one video. Let me show y'all something. You see these two holes right there? Stick your fingers. See those? So all y'all with the RS5 that be taking the front bumper off, that be taking the bottom skirt plate off just to get to your lights, you don't have to do that. You're overworking yourself. It's just stick your fingers here. See that? See that loosening? See that? And you pull. There's tabs, tabs, and tabs. So you pull here first and then pull out. Let me show you. I already jumped on the passenger side. So let me hold the camera right here. See that, watch this, two fingers. See that, see that popped out? Right here, now I'm not gonna pull no more because you have to pull, you gotta push from the back side. But yep, just, just pull this. See that? You pull out, guys. All that, taking a bumper off, going underneath the bottom, that's too much labor. You just pull straight out. So on that note, I'll turn the camera back on once I'm about to start installing. Like I said, I'm about to run up in the zone real quick. I'm going to try to match the gray up. I'm going to put them in stall, and then I'm going to paint them. Then I'll show y'all what everything looked like. Everybody know how the yellow lights look, but I'm still going to put one fog light in, and then put the LED light in, and then show y'all the difference. All right. Peace. Okay, now as I was saying earlier, guys, you don't have to take this front bumper off nor do you have to go underneath here and pull that stuff plate off. All you can do is just pull the grill right off. See? Stock grill pops right off. All you have is these tabs right here. Kind of remind you of the uh, 07 style Jetta. They just pop. They just popped in and out just the Volkswagen. They had like a screw or something in there. But yeah, that's all. I already put my first LED light in there and it works good so far um, it's not flickering so I don't have to get the uh, canvas 
uh, anti-flickering cannabis to uh, put up in here. I'm not saying cannabis. I mean cannabis uh, to put up in here. Next, I'm gonna jump on the passenger side, put in a light and a grill. And then the next time I turn my camera on, because right now I just wanna show you guys, again, I just wanna uh, iterate how you don't have to take the whole bumper off. You know, cause like I said, I saw a lot of YouTube videos. I won't say a lot, you're saying like five or six somewhere, they actually took the bumper off just to get to the light. I was like, oh my God. I saw the one guy take the whole bottom scuff plate off just to change the bulb. You can just pull the grill out and then there's two screws right here. Just, just take it out. So anyway, yeah. So to get what I'm saying is um, the next time I turn the video back on, I am going to be painting these black iris grills to gray. They're gonna be gray. So like I said, I want, to, I want everything to have a good little coordination is what I'm looking for to go with. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, when I come back on, I will be painting these, letting them dry, and I'm, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put them in now, black, show y'all what they look like black, and then I'm gonna show you guys what they look like painted. All right, next time I turn the camera on, I will be painting. All right, guys, I thought I'd make this quick little video before I paint the grills. I don't have the grills snapped into place, but I do have the RS5 fog light grills sitting in there just to give you guys a before and after look on what they would look like. And I have the LED lights in there too as well. RS5 grill in there. Now the next one, y'all see, I don't want that uh, RS5 fall light grill to just stay black. I want it to, like I said, um, coordinate with the the front grill. Come on this side, this got a little bit more better light. Look like it. Let's see. Yeah. I can see it better that way. Yeah. Y'all about to go turn these lights on real quick. So I'm about to hit pause and then we're come back on, I'm gonna have the headlight, I mean not headlight, all the lights on so you guys can see the difference. Oh yeah, I'm loving the LEDs down there. And no, the LEDs in the headlights are not flickering, it's just the way that the LED lights and the headlights are coming through, through the recording. I don't know why I look at why it's doing that, but one thing I will say is that my LEDs down at the bottom, I know some people are saying that I may need a, a canvas, the anti-flickering uh, light, well, I mean, I'm flickering to keep it from throwing the cold. So far, no codes have been drawn. So I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed and hopefully they'll stay that way. Once again, yeah, there they go. They look much better. All right, next time I turn it back on, I will be showing you guys the finished product, the painted ones, cause like I said, all this, my plan is, if you if you look at this grill, the whole mesh part is gray, and then the trim is chrome. My goal is to make all of this black gray, and the chrome ring around the light will only be chrome. That's the plan, that's my style I'm going with for my Audi S5. All right, y'all, once again, peace to the paint. All right, YouTube, I'm back. Right now I'm in the process of painting the grills. This right here is the black one, the way it came, gloss black with the chrome trim. And I'm going with the silver pearl to match the gray grill. And as you see, I had to take the chrome ring off. Cause like I said, the grill itself is like a silverish, I'm sorry, like a gray pearl with a chrome ring. I want the whole grill here all gray with the chrome ring. All right, the next, post is going to be in another couple minutes once I finish this one then I'm going to go ahead and load everything together and post a video up of the complete. Bye. Okay now here we are with the finished product. Painted the RS5 fog light grills gray to match the grill. The only difference is the grill has more of a clear coat so I'm gonna go get a clear coat to put on this gray on the grills. But yeah, but here's the finished product what I was going for. All gray grill, chrome ring. Gray grill, you can see it on this side. All 
all gray RS5 grill with the chrome fog gray. That's what I was going for, y'all. All right, this right here is going to be the end of the video because I am done. I got the LED in there, which some people told me that I may have to get a canvas uh, flicker, an anti-flicker, if they start flicking. But so far, I haven't had any flicking. It would just plug right in. They didn't say I need a ballast for it or anything. So, so far, so good. I had the car running, had the lights on, no flickering. So, so far, so good. So, yeah, y'all. As of right now, I am done. I am waiting again. I don't keep feeding myself, but as soon as the carbon fiber rear diffuser come in, I install that, make a video of that too. Other than that, I'm done, guys. Peace. Take you walk around with this dirty car again. Remember I did the rims, brake calipers, did the OBX exhaust, and the carbon fiber tail. Alright guys, that's it. Alright, I'm back with the night view of the fogs. There you go. Nice and bright, guys. Nice and bright. They way brighter than a stock one. It's got a nice little throw to them. And the best part is, I didn't have to adjust them. They got a nice throw. No canvas. So here y'all go. And they're nice and bright. All right, this is the end of the video, guys. Just want to give you guys a night view. All right, that's it.